heroes and legends reborn to Royal Sumacho is established. Gemming Vidra Prophet Elam Invision of the Commonwealth Lands <clears throat> Susan of Royals Val Scotia of the Scotia These were the top leaders of the Bankara at the time. These were the people handpicked and selected by Jemmy to take on the new Sun Mansion, led by Ui Yui and the Ui clan. Our goal was simple to prove to the Sun Mansion remnants that she was authentic and that the Sun Mansion and Bank Kiran coming together will indeed assure an everlasting peace for the universe. As they began to invade, she snuck around since the Sumatran galaxy was consisted of many other galaxy, smaller galaxies clustered together. It was easy to navigate to the planet, to the home capital planet of Sumatran, where he came from. So at Sumatran Castle, the Ui clan led by um, Ui Yui and all the elite forces of the Sumatrans, from Maurice to General Yu to Folks to Sonoko to the Cardians, Jirukayan, Jerome Francis, even the Jidanians, Kan, Meg and Let, and Dust, and the uh, Scholastican people who now had a new king, um, come had a new king, King Brian. Because the old king had passed away. And the collagen clan were there. The UB clan were led by Orient. And the savior. That was led, now led, now became a principality led by Paza Joseph. After their king was, had died at the end of the empire. Also, Morado and Basil of the suppliers. And the tech clan led by Susie Ibn, Duke Ibn, Warren, and Ron. And and Rom's Android forty four twenty four, and it was massive. Only the Bashar had one autonomy, and the composition um, were also away another part of this battle. The force that they faced was overwhelming. The Bankaran leaders wondered if Jemai was suicidal. Sure, she might have won the Builderon galaxy single-handedly, but the Builderon leaders were not that strong. The tech done that by Duke alone and Ui Yui and, and various others and collagen and others were strong and they had immense and they had immense power. So how in the world were they going to win? Jenny, not deterred, raced to the battlefield and the base of the southern part of the castle. She launched her attack. Prophet Elam said, this is the beginning of chaos. This is what happens with Yui. When you defy heavens, you will punish. This battle and the return of Jemai is a result of your folly and your first for vengeance. Uyui was not convinced along the Scholastica of this Jemai. They have not studied the knowledge that is given to them in some time. So they, they deny it. They thought it was just a banker on claiming power when you so much you need to take all of the so much in space, just like Fidra had tried prior, by, but by military means. However, Jenai and the bank run leaders put their all in this battle, doing very well and careful to not provoke Duke 
and attack grants that are being stationary at the west western side of the castle. So the goal you use is to send messengers out in order to get the tech around to advance. So um, it was Susan that went out to prevent them from doing this. And then, um, yeah. And then after some time of beating back the troops, the overwhelming might of Uyui's forces was still unbearable. And so a plan was hatched by Val Scotia. My lady, Ji Kain is a Sumatran loyalist. If you could if he sees that you're truly of Sumatran blood, he would turn to you immediately. And Jonah is like, why? Why exactly would he turn to me immediately? Just because of that? Yes, my lady. And Jiu Kain and Uyui despise one another. Jiu Kain would give anything to turn against Uyui at a moment. Ah, so the Cardians. Haha. <laughs> Good. I could use this information. Thanks, Scotia and Lido. And then, then I went to confront Jiu Kain, who was stationed at the center base of the castle. He faced the, she faced the Cardians and used her might and used her so much an ability and so much in blast. Only so much in could do. Jiu Kain was stunned. And he said, it couldn't be. Oh, Lord, I had a daughter in Bangarin. Regardless, you are of so much in blood. And that's all I need to know. I swear my loyalty to you, my lady. All you need to charge is your right gate to tread off. Ooh, you As he claimed to power. Forward! And with that, and with that, it was done. The Cardines had switched sides. They were at the base of the castle. I saw the castle main keep open, which allowed the bank run to move. Susie, Imbum, had enough. She refused to be now working for Sue Merchant. And now a bank run Sue Merchant, she ordered her love to charge. Seeing the tag ones moving, Gem Gemini went to confront this beast and all the Cardines to attack the Uri clan. After confronting Susie and defeating her easy with magic, she used her magic abilities to trap the remaining Tectoran leaders into a spear and squeezed the spear tight so they could not move. She squeezed them there and then she went back to defeat and face Uyui, who was determined more than ever with his extended arms to defend his lord's ambition to the very end. You are a good banker. How dare you observe the name of Sue Merchant for your own gain? I will destroy you all. And Gemini said, Oh, you. I cannot see how my brother will give you the successorship of my family. <laughs> Maybe he was a blockade after all. Regardless, I will defeat you and prove to you my might and my birthright of this galaxy. And after a magnificent fight, Uyui was defeated. She had displayed her power and he felt his lord his lord's essence in her. He was stunned. A royal that had so much in blood. He felt foolish and quickly bowed down on his face and said, My lady, my lady Jamila, so much of please Forgive me, I was foolish, I did not know. And she said, up you fool, it's Gemini Royal. And with that, she went to the throne room of her father and her brother and sat on the chair and declared Royal Sumatra, officially an empire. With this, all the Bankron galaxies, all the Sumatran galaxies and the Bilderon galaxy were now under her control. Her kingdom was the largest in the universe was poised for domination. 